morning everyone. Uh, as promised, this week I'm going to be focusing on the hip flexors and the lower back. These two areas are getting tight now for most people during lockdown and starting to cause a little bit of pain and injury. So I promised this week I would show you some stretches, some massage techniques and some nice exercises you can do to help uh, relieve some of the pain and tension. So, first thing you need to understand is a little bit of the uh, postural alignment of the pelvis. Most people, not all, but most people have what we call an anterior tilt, meaning that their pelvis tilts slightly down and forward. If you can imagine a bucket, the top of a bucket around my waistline, it's almost as if you're pouring water out of the front of the bucket, down in the front. What this causes is having a, light, a tight lower back in the front, which when that tightens, it pulls. And when the hip flexor gets nice and tight as well, then that also will close and pull in the front. So that causes that anterior tilt in the pelvis. When it's tight in the back and tight in the front of the hip, and it makes the pelvis tilt. So how do we correct it? We want to try and loosen up. So that hip flexor, we need to stretch, open and loosen up. Lower back, we want to stretch, loosen and open up. And things to help it out, also strengthen. So we want to try and strengthen the abdominal muscles to try and help to pull the stomach in and up so we can tilt the tailbone. Also strengthening a little bit of the hamstrings, but that comes a little bit later. So just working on that pelvic tilt, making sure that your pubic bone is tilting and lifting. Imagine you're zipping up in the front. We do a lot of this in Pilates. Anyway, so our first stretch for the day, and it's important to understand that the pelvic positioning in these stretches is very, very important. So the first stretch we're going to do is just on one knee, bringing the front foot to the front. Now make sure it's far enough forward that this knee isn't going to go over this toe. And before you go into a stretch, I mean, I'm sure it looks familiar to you, but you want to try and think about tucking the tailbone under. So this pelvic positioning is very, very important. Zipping and lifting up in the front and feel like you're pulling down in the back, tucking the tail between the legs. Then you can place your hands on the front and lean ever so slightly forward. So this is your first hip flexor stretch. If you can lift your eyes and lift your chest, you'll feel it even more. And just here in the front of your hip and then probably down your thigh a little bit, you feel that stretch. Making sure this toe, the sorry, this knee doesn't go over this toe. Now, a lot of people would do this stretch and they would literally just collapse down. Okay, showing, oh, look how flexible I am. But really, it's a very different stretch. You're stretching the outside, now the adductor, the inner thighs, feeling it. So better to come up, make sure the pelvis is square, both hips facing forward, tuck that tailbone, and then pushing it slightly forward. And every stretch we like to hold for, I like to say 45 seconds to 60, maybe a minute on each side, let's change it. We have, we're not going to do that today because obviously the length of the video, but you can do that kind of time. So again, focus on the tilt of the tailbone and push forward. So that pelvic placement is probably the most important part of the stretch. You know, um, to, to stretch correctly and to feel the correct technique of that stretch, it's important that your body is in the correct alignment to do that. We work on a lot of this when we do Pilates as well. So if you're interested, you can join a Pilates class and you'll be learning more every time. Right, the next stretch we're going to go into, we're going to lie down on our stomachs. When we lie down, we first off always just roll out your hips. Okay, get nice and comfortable. And then you want to try and think about lifting the belly button off the floor. That's just to lengthen out, stretch and release that lower back a little bit. You're going to use the same arm and leg, reach around and just hold on to that foot. So I'm sure you've all seen this stretch before. Simple quadricep stretch. But... If you do it with the correct posture and alignment of that pelvis, you'll feel the stretch even more. So make sure as you lie that you're straight, shoulders in line and hips in line. And then you want to push the pubic bone and the hip bones down into the mat. In Pilates, we call that neutral pelvis. It's flat like the floor. Making sure that all three points of your pelvis are pushing down into the mat. And then again, just lifting the belly button up off the mat. So feeling like if you're wearing a t-shirt, you'll feel like you're just lifting the skin of your stomach away from the fabric of your t-shirt. That's all. Good. You'll feel that stretch increase. And as you release, you do so gently. And we change feet. Other side as well. Wrap that arm around 
and pull it down forward. So again, set yourself up correctly. Make sure your belly button is lifted in the center and the tailbone is tucking down. So it's the same as the stretch before. You want to tuck the bum under, pushing the pubic bone down in the front. Making sure your hips aren't lifted. If there's a gap underneath your hips, your back is arched and you're not doing the stretch correctly. So make sure you're pushing down in the hips and pelvis, lifting up in the belly button. And just take a nice deep breath. Good, very nice, releasing gently. Now, the same sort of stretch, but we're just gonna roll onto our side. So when you lie on your side, it's the same thing. You wanna bring your feet forward, make sure that you're not arching your back, Sink, sinking the belly button in. And as we lift the front leg, we're gonna reach to try and catch that foot. Good, now this is a great stretch for people who struggle to reach their foot. So it's the same as lying on your stomach, but some people struggle to actually get hold of that foot. So if that's you, then you can do this lying on your side as well. But the focus is the same. You want to make sure that your pubic bone is pushing forward, that your bum is tucking under, so you're getting that flat, neutral pelvis all the time, and you'll feel that the stretch will increase when you do that correctly. Good. Now, I'm not going to do both sides, but obviously you will, okay? 45 seconds to a minute on each side. Now, this is also the same stretch as when you're standing up. You'll be standing on this bottom foot with your balance, or you can use this right hand to hold onto a chair or hold onto the wall. But the most important thing is that you don't stick your stomach out and arch your back. Pull it in, tuck the tailbone, and make sure that the pelvic positioning is neutral and correct. And that way you'll feel that really good hip flexor stretch. Good, so that's the three nice stretches for you to start with. I am going to be adding on and doing some massage techniques as well, but that's where we'll leave it for today. Good luck and enjoy your stretch.